Store Organization of Indian Railways Materials Management Organization in Railway Board In Railway Board, member, mechanical, looks after the material management function who has one full-time additional member, railway stores, to assist him. Additional member, railway stores, is the head of railway stores directorate. Officials in directorate are executive directors, directors, joint directors and deputy directors. Materials Management Organization in Zonal Railways In railways an integrated concept of materials management is already existing. All zonal railways and production units have got separate department known as Stores Department for performing all the functions related to materials management. The head of Stores Department is known as Controller of Stores who functions at the same level as other heads of departments. The Zonal Railway Organization of Stores Department is at three levels. Headquarters Level Divisional Level and Extra divisional or district level in the form of stores, depots, and printing presses. Functions of stores department. Functions of stores department can be classified as under a material planning. This consists of ascertaining the need of the various departments in the matter of materials and stores. B. Procurement of stores. This includes purchase of materials of required quality and quantity at reasonable prices. C. Receipt or inspection of stores. This includes taking delivery of materials from carrier, checking of quantity and quality in their account. D. Store keeping. This includes stocking of materials in the wards, their handling, issuing on demand by indenters and maintaining proper records. A. Distribution of stores. This includes timely dispatch and distribution of materials to various users by adopting quick and right mode of transportation. F. Collection, accountal and disposal of scrap. This activity is main revenue earning activity of stores department. G. Inventory control. This includes maintaining an economic level of investment in inventories coupled with fulfilling users' requirements of materials satisfactorily. H. Cost Reduction As already explained, Materials Management Department can contribute a lot on cost reduction. Some of the techniques used for this purpose are 1. Variety Reduction 2. Standardization three. Value analysis. 4. Forecasting. Purchasing agencies. Direct purchase by the departments. Purchase by railway board. Purchase by DG, S and D, Director General Supplies and Disposals. Tender committee. Consist of. Accounts officer. Stores officer. User department officer. Types of tenders. Global tender, used to call worldwide sources. Open tender, for more than 10 lakhs valued materials. Finalized by tender committee. Limited tender, for less than 10 lakhs valued materials. For registered suppliers. Special limited tender, if the item is of vital and safety. Single tender, single source of supplier. PAC is required. Types of stores contracts. Rate contracts, pre-approved rates and items with the agency. Running contracts, pre-agreed upon to supply the said minimum and maximum quantity at specified rates. Fixed quantity contracts, rate and quantity is declared at the time of tender itself. Purchasing procedure. Ake. In charge supervisor submits proposals with budgetary quotation. 2. Head of the department approves the proposals. 3. Approved proposals are sent for finance concurrence. 4. Financial concurrence is obtained. 5. Detailed estimate is prepared for the materials. 6. Indent is sent with detailed estimate to COS. 
7. COS Float Standards Art Quotations are received with EMD. No. Least quoted tender is accepted. Thus. Sent to the consignee for suitability certification. Gyara. LOA is issued to the accepted agency. Bara. SDN bank guarantee is done by the agency. Tera. Agreement is executed. Chauda. PO is released. Pandra. Agency supplies the materials as per PO. Sola. RDSO certification if any is to be drawn by the agency. 17. Completion certificate is drawn from the consignee. 18. Agency claims the bill for payment with NAFT details. 19. Bill is sent to COS for clearance. B. COS approves for the payment. 21. Accounts Department clears the payment through NAFT. General Classification of Stores Stores Department on Indian Railways is required to give a service to various departments by making thousands of items available to their indenters as and when required. To give this service it have to maintain stocks of a large number of items called as stock items. Whereas for other items which are not frequently required or of one-time requirement, no stocks are maintained. These items are purchased as and when required to meet specific demands and are called as Non-stock items Surplus stores They are Movable stores It comprises of item of stores which have not been issued for a period of 24 months, but which it is anticipated will be used in near future. Dead stores. It comprise items of stores which have not been issued for last 24 months and which are not likely to be utilized on any railway within next two years. Stock items are further classified as Ordinary stores. These are items of stores for which there is a regular turnover caused by a constant demand and which are stocked by the stores department in its depots. Emergency stores. These are items of stores which ordinarily do not wear out or require renewal but are not readily obtainable are kept in stock to meet any emergency due to breakage or an anticipated deterioration of such items. These are generally components of imported machines and rolling. Stock. Priced ledger number, PL number. Stock items of stores, which are frequently and regularly required. All stock items are given unique identification numbers called priced ledger number, PL number, for easy identification and standardization across the railways. The stock items are further classified as under Ordinary stores Emergency stores Surplus stores Dead surplus stores Custody stores Impressed stores PAC Proprietary Article Certificate In some cases if, there is only one supplier for the said materials. Open tender is not possible or not feasible. Single tender system is followed. In this case HOD will issue the PAC. Then COS will place single tender to the said agency. While procuring any item under PAC. Full details of the item along with supplier's address to be given. Material can be procured under PAC if no other make, brand is suitable. There is only one firm, which is manufacturing or stocking the item. A similar item is not manufacturing, sold by other firm. Powers of PAC. Indenting officer up to 5000 rupees. JEG grade officer up to 25,000 rupees. SEG grade officer up to 1 lakh rupees. Principal HOD above 1 lakh rupees. The work in a stores consists of Receipt and inspection of stores. Storage and issue of materials. Dispatch of materials. Disposal of surplus stores and scrap materials.
the following stores are to be provided to all JESSC. Impressed stores. Tools and plants. Dead stock, office furniture. Stores obtained for specific work. Books for reference. Protective clothing. Stationery or forms. DIALY Material Transaction Register, DMTR. Ek. A daily material transaction register should be maintained by each senior section engineer maintaining stores on form number SMT, date. Though, it includes two major columns receipts and issues. Under each column again subcolumns such as date, description of material, quantity, ledger reference and page chalan number, receipt note number and date, from whom received or to whom issued. For what work? Theme. All receipts and issues of stores pending their transfer to their appropriate ledgers shall be entered in this register. Char. Entries should be made daily and a line shall be drawn across both pages under the last entry of each date to prevent subsequent entries to be made. Patch. All transactions first shown in the DMTR. Share. The dates shall be same in both ledger and DMTR. Sat. The DMTR should be verified and signed by the concerned section engineer or senior section engineer once in a week. Stores maintenance. Ek. DMTR, daily material transaction register. Do. Receipt of materials should be checked with the actual materials. Theme. The quality of materials should be checked as per the schedule. Char. No material should be issued without a chalan. Paj. Stores should not be opened after office hours. If it has to be opened prior intimation to be given to controlling officer. Share. Records should be well maintained with up-to-date entries. Saat. Any discrepancy. Results in DAR action against the store's custodian. Duties of a store's custodian. Indenting the required materials in advance. Receipt and inspection of stores. Storage and issue of materials. Keeping materials aside for emergency use. Disposal of scrap materials. Maintaining DMTR. Stores inspections. Junior engineer in charge, monthly once. In charge officer inspection, half yearly. Senior DSTE inspection, once a year main stores only. Stock verifier, once in two years. Accounts department, once in three years. Vigilance department, random check. Do's or don'ts regarding stores. Don't issue materials without chalan. Don't open stores in after hours. Don't keep private materials in the stores. Don't use railway materials for personal use. Don't hand over storeroom keys to unknown persons. Do indent materials in advance. Do maintain materials register with up-to-date entries. Do enter the receipts, issues of materials regularly. Definitions. Law. List of approved works. PAC, Proprietary Article Certificate. LAR, Last Accepted Rate. LP, Local Purchase. EMD, Earnest Money Deposit 2% of the Value of Work. SD, Security Deposit 5% of the Value of Work. PG, Performance Guarantee or Bank Guarantee 5% of the Value. DMTR, Daily Materials Transaction Register. DSR, Dead Stock Register. SOP, Schedule of Powers. LOA, Letter of Acceptance. PO, Purchase Order. NEFT, National Electronic Fund Transfer. MB, Measurement Book. Stock Items. Items required for regular use like PVC cables, telephones, dead stock items.
The items which don't have any wear and tear in general for a considerable period of time like furniture. Non-stock items. Items which are not stored generally. They are purchased on demand like printers, petrol, computers, tools or plants. Issued to the individual employees or to the in-charge J.E. example spectrum analyzers, multimeters, spanners. Local purchase. Certain non-stock items like petrol, bolts or nuts are purchased locally. The bills are submitted to in-charge officer for reimbursement. Scrap disposal. In-charge supervisor has to list out the scrap materials regularly. Whenever the scrap items are demanded from store's department, the materials have to be sent with a list. In charge SSA who is looking after the stores is empowered to scrap the materials under the approval of senior DST. Purchasing agencies. Direct purchase by the departments. Purchase by railway board. Purchase by DGS and D, Director General Supplies and Disposals. Local purchases. Local purchases of materials of small value. The controller of stores may also make local purchases of items of small value, both stock and non-stock, up to rupees 1 lakh in each case, subject to the condition that in the case of stock items, the purchases are made only where. 8. The normal annual recoupment quantity does not exceed rupees 1 lakh in value or. Though. The stock of the item is precariously low and the item is urgently required. The controller of stores will make no purchase without satisfying himself that the price paid is reasonable. For items costing up to rupees 10,000, the controller of stores may obtain single quotations, but for items costing over rupees 10,000, the controller of stores should obtain quotations from more than one firm and maintain a proper record of such quotations. The current rates quoted should invariably be compared with the last purchase rates and any large differences checked up before making local purchases. Such purchases may be paid for in cash from impressed cash. Stock Verification the object of verification by the accounts department of stores in the custody of the depot and other departmental officers and subordinate is to ensure that the materials accord with the description and specification shown in the balances appearing in the books in that excess or deficiencies, if any, noticed on such verification are properly investigated and accounted. Stock verification is of two types. Departmental Stock Verification Accounts Department Stock Verification Departmental Stock Verification It is to be done by the depot officer or the departmental officer to see whether the up-to-date balance of an item in the ledger tallies with the actual physical stock a balance. Departmental verification need only cover selected items such as items of large annual consumption having regular and frequent issues. If there be an excess of stock or deficiency in stock, the official should prepare a departmental stock verification sheet in Form S1260. Accounts Department Stock Verification Accounts department has to verify stores in the custody of the depot and departmental officer and subordinates to ensure that the materials in numerical ledger tallies with actual ground balance. Stock Verification Sheets The stock verifier should prepare in triplicate, by carbon process, stock sheets in form, S1260, for all items of stores, the verification of which has been completed that day. The stock sheets should be prepared from the date in the field book. The stock sheet so prepared will contain only the ground balance. A stock verification report has to be prepared at the time of posting the priced ledger, in Form S1260, showing the book balance, the ground balance as per the stock sheet in the excess shortage, if any. Frequency of stock verification. Type of stores frequency. Material at site works. Once in a year. 
stores with impressed holder. Once in two years. All tools and plants. Once in three years. All materials in the depot. Once in six months or one or two or three years. Depends upon type of material and its value. Return stores. Return stores. All stores previously issued for the services of railway, no longer required for use, to be returned back to nominated depot, S. Solar So Ek. S1539, Advice Note of Return Stores, or DS8, prepared in six copies. It includes scrap. Materials at site. Materials obtained for specific works should be kept outside the accounts of any other category of stores. Such stores should be separately requisitioned for by the executive officers and arranged to be dispatched to the sites of works. Materials other than petty consumable stores issued to a work, the account of which is kept by subheads in the register of works, if not consumed on. The work immediately on receipt at the site work of should be temporarily held at charge of a subhead of work known as the materials at site account. Adjustment Memo, AM. All transactions concerning the issue of stores from stock, the transfer of materials from one work to another and the clearance of items of debits and credits placed under the suspense heads come under Adjustment Memo. In carrying out adjustments the officer or subordinate initiating an adjustment should fill an adjustment memo, from A1461, as far as he is able to do so and forward it to the divisional office for completion and further action. Reasons for the adjustment should invariably be recorded in such sufficient detail as to establish clearly the correctness of the necessity for adjustment. Anticipated annual consumption AEC. Material in depots shall be based on anticipated annual consumption. AEC. AEC will guide for actual procurement of material may be through a central agency, like GEM, DGSND, Railway Board, Zonal Level. The forecast of anticipated annual consumption is best made by extracting the average annual consumption for the last three years. Requisitions for stores. All issues should be made on written requisitions submitted on the prescribed form by the indenting parties, or where any issues are made on the orders of the depot office or the controller of stores, such orders should be given in writing. Example of requisition for stores. Form number stores 1302. Gate pass. No material may be allowed to go outside the gates unless specified on a gate pass or authority for removal of wagons. Gate passes should be prepared in duplicate by the depot staff for the material leaving store's premises. Gate pass, S1350. Each gate pass, form number S1350, should show the following particulars. The number of men, with their ticket numbers. The number of packages. The number and date of voucher on which the material is sent. To whom sent and purpose for which sent. Whether railway or private property. MB measurement book. Payments for all works which are susceptible of measurement and for all supplies. Works made are done on the basis of measurement recorded in the measurement book, MB. The MB is. Therefore, an initial and very important book of accounts record which should be properly maintained and safely kept by the person to whom it is issued. Impressed cash. An impressed cash is a standing advance of a fixed sum of money placed at the disposal of an individual to meet the following types of expenditure. Petty office, repair expenses. Emergent charges which cannot be foreseen. The responsibility for making proper arrangements for the safe custody of the impressed money rests entirely with the impressed holder and he must at all times be ready to produce the total amount of the impressed in vouchers or in cash. The impressed account should be kept in duplicate, the counterfoil being kept by the impressed holder and the original, 
supported by the necessary vouchers, forwarded to the accounts officer from time to time as the holder of the interest may require it to be replenished. The account should be closed ordinarily on the 27th of each month and recouped before the end of the month.